Joining me now from Buckingham Palace is former High Commissioner to the UK and former advisor both to Her Majesty and the new King, Charles III, John Douth. John, thank you for your time. You've had a lot to do with the new King. He's been shaking hands with hundreds of well-wishers in recent days. Does it give us a sense of what to expect from his reign? Uh, a bit. I, I think, I mean, I think we're, there's certainly a lot uh, that we've seen of uh, the King in the last few days that uh, are an indicator of what's to come. I thought his uh, uh, address to the nation was uh, remarkably on song. It, was, uh, it made a lot of the, the really important points. And uh, as you've seen in walkabouts, he's a very uh, open and uh, people-friendly guy. So, yes, I, I, think, uh, I think you're getting a sight... Uh, early uh, of what we can expect uh, from the king for the rest of his reign. It's a hard act to follow, obviously, for King Charles III. Is he up to it? Well, Kieran, uh, I've been convinced of that for many years, ever since I worked very closely with him uh, as his press secretary. Uh, but I think, as I say, the evidence of the last few days is clear. Uh, He's, uh, he's embraced the role, he's, uh, uh, he's uh, demonstrated great commitment. Uh, that's always been there, but uh, I think you see just how determined he is uh, uh, to succeed his mother in every sense. You served as a press secretary, as you said, to the King when he was Prince, and, but also to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II earlier in your career. Yes. Do you have any personal recollections of the Queen that you can share? Yes, of course. I mean, you know, I, when I came to Buckingham Palace, uh, I, I hadn't imagined that I would play anything like uh, as uh, a significant uh, a part... Uh, of the workings uh, of the palace as I did. Uh, in the end, uh, w when I came here at least, and I think it's still pretty much the same, uh, the Queen's uh, 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 cabinet, as it were, uh, was very small. It, it consists of uh, three private secretaries and three press secretaries, and we all had a secretary, and so there were very few of us. So the interaction with uh, the Queen, Duke of Edinburgh, and other members of the royal family, in particular Prince Charles, in my case, uh, was very considerable. You saw a great deal of them. Uh, and uh, so I have many, many memories of uh, Her Majesty uh, in many, uh, many different uh, settings. I mean, she's, she's a remark remarkably down-to-earth person, so easy to do business with uh, uh, and quick. You know, send her a note, you get a note back uh, very smartly. Uh, and, uh, and she's easy uh, to work with and to be with. There's been a lot of talk, I think, uh, since her death uh, of an unremarked feature of her, her, her being, uh, uh, and that's her sense of humour, which uh, people have, have now started to understand is, uh, was very sharp. But as I say, she, it was a sense of humour that was always very down to earth. I remember I, I went to Sandringham once uh, uh, to do some filming with uh, Prince Charles, with the BBC, uh, the then Prince Charles, uh, and... Uh, he had to go off after that, but the Queen asked me to stay to lunch. It was just a small lunch. The Queen Mother was there, or Prince Andrew was there, a couple of other members of the household. And at the end of lunch, uh, this was in Sandringham, the Queen said, have you, have you tried our Stilton? You know, the town of Stilton is very close to Sandringham. And I said, no, ma'am, I haven't. Uh, and she turned to uh, her page, uh, John, and uh, said, I'll bring some Stilton for John. I was sitting between the Queen and uh, Prince Andrew. So he... He bought the, uh, the Stilton uh, and uh, it was put in front of me uh, with a Stilton spoon. Uh, Prince Andrew, who was then only 17 at the time, leant across me, grabbed the spoon and laid into the, the cheese. Uh, and the Queen uh, leant across me also and smacked him on the hand and said, Stilton's for John, it's not for you. She was, <laughs> to say, a very uh, down-to-earth uh, mother. I oh, love it. And 70 years on, on the throne, so down to earth, but also incredible um, stability, steadiness, strength over such a long period of time. How important was that? I, I think uh, tremendously important, really the defining feature of the reign. You know, people have talked about uh, the change that King Charles will bring, uh, whereas, in fact, I think he's, he's going to be very committed to 
steadiness and uh, continuing the same sort of uh, pattern as the Queen with his own tweaks, his own changes. But the sort of change that will, he will encounter during his reign is so much smaller than the Queen had, had to deal with over 70 years. You know, the, the world and Britain and Australia uh, of 1952 would be absolutely unrecognisable now. So much has changed in that time. And the Queen has gone along quietly adjusting uh, to the, the change around her uh, and, uh, and bringing to all of that change, uh, sometime, sometimes turbulent change, uh, fundamental stability that has stood this country and I have to say ours as well in good stead. Mm. Finally, John Douth, there have been some difficulties for the royal family in recent years, not the least of which the drama around Prince Harry. How should the new king seek to manage that? Well, I think we've seen a, an indication already. You know, in, in his speech to the, uh, the nation, uh, he, uh, he spoke of, uh, of both of his sons, uh, and I expect that he will continue, he and uh, Queen uh, Consort will continue to make every effort, and also the new Prince of Wales will make every effort uh, to, uh, to, as it were, reconcile with uh, Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex. Now, you know, that may or may not work. Many of us uh, hope that it will. Uh, but if it doesn't, uh, I'm sure they will just as the Queen has done, roll with the punches and keep with the, keep with the script, as it were, that he's a valued and loved member of the family uh, and that they both are. And um, I'm sure there's no other way to do it, just steadiness and, uh, and uh, continuity. Former High Commissioner to the UK and former Press Secretary to both the Queen and King Charles, John Dow, thank you for your reflections and your time live from... Buckingham Palace.